Hello, today we are going to delete the enricher on your scooter and in this video I will show you how! Well, hello and welcome to my video. Today what I really want to do, my goal is to delete the enricher. The enricher is right here, it's an automatic enricher on your GY650cc and some 50cc scooter you have the enricher too. And this one is an automatic. You know, sometimes what is automatic is not really great because it does whatever it wants. You want something that really does what you want. So a manual choke or a manual, manual enricher will, the best, will be the best thing for your scooter. Now to remove this one is really simple, but sometimes when you ride in your scooter, after five to 10 minutes, uh, the enricher really keep your RPM really high. Now, to have the best performance, you should have at idle your RPM on the scooter at 1500 RPM. So that would be for the best performance, cause best reaction. Cause sometimes it's better to have that reaction on your scooter when you need it. But if you have this one, that is really confusing your performance uh, that is not good and it's also not safe to ride in your scooter with something that is controlling your RPM if you don't really need it because especially where I live in Florida is a hot place we don't really need much a choke just once in a while in the winter time for one week we might need the choke in Florida so removing this one you will have better performance on your scooter by removing a enricher or a choke and having a manual one now they're not really easy to find but there is one company that really has a manual chokes a conversion kit for these 24 millimeter scooters you know 24 millimeter carburetor now they're really easy to put in you know they're very easy just takes five to ten minutes to put them in now the only thing is right to removing the carburetor from the scooter and really you don't really have to remove the the whole carburetor and the whole cable you just have to slightly twist your carburetor to the right so you can face this pair part right here when the carburetor is on your scooter and at that point you're going to remove the part that you have for the enricher so it's very easy I will show you how to remove this part right now and it's going to be very easy and we're going to install a manual choke on your 24 millimeters carburetor for your GY6 scooter. I will show you that right now. Okay, this is the carburetor for your GY650cc. This one is the enricher right here that you have. To remove this one is really easy. You can remove this part right here with two Phillips screws right here and you can get this one out or you just unscrew this part right here from these screws that you have the larger screw right here because the old kit that is coming from Hammerhead Performance uh, for a GY650cc 24 millimeters carburetor comes with uh, this part right here and this part right here is the part that goes on the side of your carburetor now look like it's well made and nice and clean okay so that's something already really important that this part is nice and clean and there is no metal shaving around because sometimes metal shaving you know can give you problems. Also when you get this part check the inside, make sure the inside is clean because something that has to go inside here and maybe has some metal shaving or some dirt can give some problem by closing this hole that is the uh, place where the little nose uh, part of the choke and reacher will go so make sure you check this part right here open your eyes so you're not going to have any problem later now to remove this one we're just going to remove this part right here if you are on your scooter you only need to place your carburetor on the side okay so it's very easy to remove this part make sure you disconnect the connection that goes to your enricher because at that point if, if you place a man if, if you place a manual enricher you're not gonna need anymore any 
current and electricity going to your enricher. Now, right here, we have a little gasket right here. If you look on this carburetor, you have a little gasket. And this new, the new, the new uh, kit uh, comes uh, with uh, a little gasket already. So just replace this little gasket with a new one. So you're going to have a better gasket that is gonna last a little longer time. This one right here, you can remove it. Just pick this one out. We're going to place the new gasket that is a little more rounded on the sides and look like a little fresher than the other one, okay? So right here you have your side of the carburetor, the richer. Now at this point, uh, you can place this one on top, very easy to do. So place this one on top, right here. And we're going to get the screws that we had with the other one right here so we can place them over there one by one right here one and we're gonna place one on the other side now make sure you tie this one nicely but not too much because uh, these screw they're kind of soft so they will uh, get damaged by the screwdriver if you tie them too much so Something really important to keep this one nice and tight, but not too much. Very important, okay? You know, when you feel that the, your, right here, when you feel that your screw, they don't go anymore, kind of like, it's okay. Keep them that way, okay? Right after that, we're ready to place. Now, we have a little nose that goes inside right here that goes inside the choke okay and we have this little connection this one can go here right here and you have a spring this spring has to go right here this one has to go right here okay so at this point you're going to place this one here and hold this wire back here okay so at this point you can place this one inside here okay and you're going to push a little bit so you want this one to tight okay to the top now make sure you tie this top part pretty good now right here you have this line right here and you can tie this one a little bit with the, a key right here tied it by hand and then slightly a little more tighter with a tool so it can be nice and tight but don't tie it too much you don't want to damage this uh, kit that comes uh, from hammerhead performance right right here you have the little line right here if you need to have a choke on your scooter you just pull at uh, this line right here and you give a little choking to your scooter so you will get a little more enricher you have more fuel coming to your scooter and less air so what you're gonna do you're just gonna put this one right here or what you can do what they do they send you also a long chalk line so you can install this one on your scooter and place this part right here inside the little choker so that's what you can do right here you can connect this one here and you can install this long choke line on your scooter so this one will be a lot better for performance having a manual choke you're going to be the one who's deciding when do you need the choke and when you don't need the choke so that's the important thing about the choke the choke you're only going to need it when you know <laughs> not that when the the automatic choker they side. This one is an automatic choker and he has his own brain. And sometimes his own brain doesn't work really perfectly. So you really want to have a really manual choke on your scooter. So it will give you a lot better performance. So this one is the place where you can find them. I'm not sure how long you're going to find them. They didn't sponsor me in any ways. So I let you know this company for now they have it. I'm not sure if they are going to have it 
in the future. This one is a chalk kit for a 24 millimeter carburetor and it's working great and I will test it very soon on my scooter because uh, I'm really had enough of my chalk uh, that it does whatever it wants. So with this one, I do whatever I want. <laughs> Okay, we just finished to install a manual choke on your 24 millimeter carburetor for your GY650 scooter. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and feel free also to visit my YouTube channel, my TikTok, and some shorts that I'm lately making to help you out. I'd like to thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you.